my name is Victoria Palov. I'm the Photoshop artist and welcome to my studio. Today we will talk about the new update in Adobe Dimension CC. I love this ad update. I'm super excited to share with you everything. So guys, let's jump. First of all, I will um, use a horizon tool to adjust my horizon line just like that. And I will switch to select and move tool. Also, I will switch to default um, Dimension CC uh, models library and I will click on this very beautiful coffee cup just like this. Now guys, using the same select and move tool, I will bring this coffee cup close to us just like that and look guys we have all dimensions right now that beautiful i can move my coffee cup anywhere i want and i can see all the parameters right here i love it love it love it but i want to change uh, just my horizon uh, line just like that and i will be bring it close to us just like that perfect now i will um copy this uh, cup and I will paste a new coffee, uh, a, a copy of this coffee cup and using same select and move tool I will move my cup behind the first one just like that I'm holding no keys no nothing I'm just moving it and I see all parameters I love it love it love it what I will do I will copy this uh, cup and I will paste the new copy using select and move tool I will move this uh, cup just like that now guys let's talk about the new material in Adobe Dimension CC first of all I will switch to default material uh, materials library we have two types of materials we have the Adobe standard material um, with Adobe standard material we have standard a set of uh, parameters um, and we can adjust um, any uh, material with it with the new substances uh, material set of materials um, we have um, many different uh, sets of uh, parameters using those sets we can adjust every single material in different way this is absolutely amazing let me show to you i will select this um, coffee cup just like that and i will apply uh, adobe standard material just um wax just like that uh, i will uh, switch to a cup tab and i will adjust my um material i have standard um set of uh, sliders i can adjust my uh, material with just like this like we did all the time before now i will be back to scene panel i will highlight my um, cup tab and Ella, I will apply the new uh, substance um, substances a uh, material just like that let's see what material um, I would like to apply uh, difficult decisions because we have so many new beautiful, beautiful materials let's click on this one just like that and voila now let's have a look how we can adjust our new material look at this we can adjust roughness uh cry intensity just like that shape uh, uh, roughness and everything like that but also guys we have technical parameters a uh, set of sliders we, uh, we can adjust anything guys now we can adjust anything in our materials you look at this all also we have another set of sliders another set of options using randomize uh, button we can uh, adjust we can customize we can apply personal touches to our materials i love it a lot now let's talk about another update i will switch to um images default library and here i have uh, a logo i would like to apply to our coffee cup i will apply it and voila very nice uh, logo definitely i can adjust this logo in any way i like but if i will switch to full option i can apply this logo to full to entire cup 
and definitely I can adjust my material as well. Guys, look at this. This is amazing. I love it. And let's talk about another update. I will switch to Creative Cloud Library just like that. And I now I have I'm in standard view mode. I'm in um view by type. But what if I would like to customize my uh, library? I can do it. I will switch uh, view by type to view by group. And here I have very magical button. I uh, create a group. I will click on this um, button and I will create a new group. Example, I will create a material group and I will add to this um, uh, group all my materials. I can create as many groups as I like. So, I like my design. Time to render it. I will click on a render tab and I will be redirected to a render um, a workspace. And here, guys, we have new cloud rendering. I love it. It's amazing. Just try it and you will see how amazing is it. So, guys, this is what I wanted to share with you. If you have some time and would like to deep uh, deeper into this topic, please stay with me. Let's continue. We will start from the white canvas. I will create a new document just like that. I will not save this just like that. Using um, um, horizon tool, I will adjust my horizon just like that. You can adjust in any way you like. I will switch to starter assets default library and I will switch to uh, models right, library. I will click on same coffee cup just like that. Using select and move tool, I will bring this coffee cup close to us and kind of to the side. Perfect. By the way, guys, you can adjust position of uh, those handles. In properties panel, you can switch from bottom center to center or to top center. Everything is up to you. I prefer to have it on a bottom center, just like that. So what I will do, I will copy this coffee cup and I will paste the new copy, just like that. Using select and move tool, I will move it just slightly behind the first cup and slightly to the side, just like this. How easy is it, guys? We can see all dimensions, everything. This is amazing. Okay. In the scenes uh, panel, uh, first of all, I will uh, highlight my uh, first coffee cup. In the scenes panel, I will click on cup uh, tab. I will switch to materials library and I will click on uh, new material. Let's click on 3D printed mesh. I love this material. Just like that. How easy is it? I can change the color. I can adjust a tile. I like this more. I can adjust anything I want. Uh, it's up to me. Um, but I like it as it is. I, I will not change anything. Perfect. I will be back to... Um, Scene panel and I will click on lead tab and I will apply uh, another material. I will apply simple plastic just like that. I will uh, move a roughness slider slightly, guys, slightly to the right. I will move a metallic slider very slightly to the right and I will change the color of my material. I would like to apply very bright yellow color. I love your yellow color. Sorry, guys. I love it. Now I will select another a cup just like that. And I will um, highlight coffee tab, cup a tab, and I will apply another material. Let's apply some crazy material. Uh, this metal, my metal material, just like this beautiful. I love it. I will um, uh, move roughness slider slightly to the right. And uh, I will move gap slider and bevel just like that. I like it. I like it. I like it. Also, guys, I will click on a randomize button just like that. And I love this coffee cup. 
I will switch back to my scene panel. I will highlight um, coffee lid top and I will apply same plastic material just like that. Perfect. I will uh, move a uh, roughness slider and I will change the color. I will apply maybe, I don't know. Let's see what color I will apply. Let's see. Yes, kind of brown uh, color because this is a coffee cup. I will be back to scene just like that. And I will highlight my uh, first coffee cup. Top, uh, coffee cup. In scene panel, I will highlight a lid tab. I will switch to default um, uh, graphics library and I will apply brand logo to the uh, coffee lid. Just like that. Something unusual, right guys? I can adjust it in any way I like, just like that. Or I can switch to fill, just like that and I can move it in any way I like. Just something like that, guys. Something unexpected. Just like that. I love it. I love it. Definitely, guys, I can adjust this material, maybe apply more um, metallic effect to it, and perfect, perfect, perfect. I will be back to my scene panel. I will highlight my second coffee cup, and I will apply this fire logo to it. Just like that. Perfect. I will move it on the side. I will adjust metallic slider and I love it. We can apply any um, image to our background. We can use image from our library or from our local drive or uh, from anywhere else, guys. But here in the default um, dimension um, image uh, graphics library, we have very beautiful uh, um, image. An unexpected image for our um, background. I will click on this and voila, I love it. So guys, I can apply light to, I can uh, apply light to our uh, design uh, based on our background image or I can apply def uh, default um, uh, light from default light library. So let me switch to default light library and here guys we have very beautiful forest um, light. I will click on it just like that. I can um, adjust my light. I will increase intensity just like that. I can change rotation which is nice. And also guys I can apply sunlight to our uh, design. Um, just like that. I can increase or decrease intensity of our sunlight. If I decrease intensity to our um, sunlight, our shadow will have very nice elegant uh, effect. If I will decrease intensity of our shadow of our uh, sunlight, we have we will have very harsh shadow. So guys, everything is up to you. But in my case, I prefer to move intensity slider slightly to the left. Also, I can adjust high for my light, sunlight and rotation, just like that. Maybe something like that behind our coffee cups, just like that. Let's preview. And voila, guys, we are done. We have created very beautiful design, unexpected design, something fresh, something unexpected and new, using only default uh, assets, um, Adobe Dimension CC assets. Bye guys. But guys, I would like to bring your attention to if you would like some, if you if you would like to work with a new um, assets, if you will go to Adobe Stock website, you will be able to find hundreds different um, 3D materials, um, models, light uh, from uh, Adobe Adobe Stock website. Some of them are payable, some of them are free. I have um, more than 600 um, models I downloaded for free from Adobe Stock. So guys, just go and uh, explore Adobe Stock 3D collection. Absolutely amazing collection. So, I'm happy.
happy with my design. I, I'm happy with everything. I can uh, start uh, thinking about how I would like to render my uh, project. I can um, click on this share icon and I can um, create, uh, upload my design uh, online and share, uh, share the link with my client or my family or uh, any people I work with on this project or I can um, click on render uh, tab. I will be redirected to a render workspace and here I can render my um, document. Guys, we have new cloud rendering. Absolutely amazing um, new feature. Just uh, try it. Try it. Try all uh, new features with the latest Dimension CC update. I can guarantee you will love it. So guys, this is what I wanted to share with you today. Um, super appreciated of all your uh, time. Thank you so much for being with me, for supporting me. If you have any questions, just ask. I will be more than happy to answer to any of your questions. And I will see you later, guys. Bye.